Hello guys and gals, and this is a movie review for Nobody. Uh, Nobody is a really interesting film. If you haven't seen the previews for it, then make sure you check those out. Um, I kind of knew I wanted to see this movie just from the previews. Um, now, either one of the producers or the directors or something like that worked on John Wick. So um, there are some similarities between this universe and the John Wick universe, but I think, don't think that they are, they're, they're actually part of the same universe. I'm not sure, though. I could probably do a uh, film theory video on maybe the nobody uh, nobody and the John Wick universe could be intertwined some way. But, um, anyways, um, one thing this movie did do is it got this song stuck in my head, and, um, it's a song that goes, I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh, Lord, help me not be misunderstood. Something like that, you know. And so I, I've been having that song stuck in my head ever since, um, since I'm watching the movie, and it's been maybe a week or so since I watched it. But, anyways, there's a really nice slow version of that song. It's like the first song you hear. Really awesome. Anyways, um, this also has um, Christopher Lloyd in it. And um, really interesting because I haven't actually seen Christopher Lloyd since um, Back to the Future, I don't think. And um, so it was really nice to see him in a movie again. Um, it also has Riza or something like that. His name only has like one vowel in it. It's R-Z-A. I don't know. I've actually never heard of the guy. But um, apparently he's in like martial arts movies or something. But anyways, Riza, according to the, you know, the special features, Riza was in this too, this movie. And apparently he's big or important. I'd never actually heard of him. Um, but... Um, yeah, um, really, really great gifted actor, at least according to this movie, if I was using this movie as a judge. Anyways, anyways, um, basically, um, there is, um, I think his name's Huts. Huts. I can't remember that because there's this YouTuber named, named Huts, and so, um, uh, let me see. I'm going to have to do a little quick research here. Let's see. Anyways. But anyways, um, the, the, the main character, played by... Um, oh, his, 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 old is in his name. Um, he isn't an old guy, but his, his old Kirk or something like that. Um, he, he's not usually in action movies. Um, wait. Um, Thankfully, I have my other phone here, so I can do the search. Anyways, um, oh yeah. Ah, yeah, the director is Ilya Neshuler or something like that. Anyways, um, ah, old, old, old Odenkirk, Bob Odenkirk. I'm not familiar with any of his work either. I don't... I don't really watch very many movies until they, they've, like, faded into obscurity, so I don't know who these people are, but... But, um... Okay, wait. Who was he? Uh, Hutch. No. See, I get Hutch and Huts mixed up, because I, I watch, um, Huts for his Binding of Isaac's Dreams, and, um, this was Hutch, as in, like, um, a China cabinet... It's sometimes called a hutch or the thing you keep rabbits in, a rabbit hutch. Um, but um, to me, it sounded like huts, you know. So anyways. So anyway, the huts is, um, you find out that huts is um, an auditor who um, three-letter organizations like the IRS, the, um, the um, FBI, the CIA, the auditor goes and fixes problems by um, killing people. So he's basically an assassin. Now, um, as I mentioned before, this movie is by the same person who um, did John Wick. So I noticed a lot of parallels between this movie and John Wick. 
but um, very, very well done. Um, different enough that amazing. Um, there are the movie is well paced. Um, you don't get all of the action in one part, you know, and then it. It's also kind of a mystery too. I like it. Anyways, um, but as for its pacing, um, it might start out really slow. And so it seems kind of like a slow burn, but then it really picks up really, really good. Um, perfectly paced. Um, very immersive too. Um, which every film should be. I mean, every movie needs to build the atmosphere and this one does. Um, it delivers. Um, but yeah, um, Basically, what was his name? Hutch. Hutch was um, trying to live out a normal life after getting out of being in the auditor business. But he falls afoul of the Russian mob, and yeah, then it all hits the fan, you know. And so, yeah, really, really great action sequences, wonderful movie. Um, Basically, I knew I'd like the movie just from watching the trailer. You know, it's got the, it has the John Wick energy, I'll say. And it's just, um, you know, you're halfway through and it can't get better than this, then it does. And then it gets even better than that, you know. It just keeps building and building and building. And, you know, there's a really nice payoff. So, this was, I thought, an amazing movie. And um, if you like this kind of thing, um, if you like John Wick, you'll probably love this movie too. Um, especially, I mean, Norman Lloyd is just awesome, amazing. Um, everyone did their roles to perfection. And um, yeah, definitely want to pick this one up when it goes on sale at Redbox. Anyways, yeah, um, music was good. All the music selections were fit the bill perfectly and um yeah i just really really highly recommend this movie i can't praise this movie enough and so yeah anyways that's just my opinion though you can either take my opinion or leave it either way is fine and if you like this content then make sure you like and subscribe ring the bell so you know when i upload also if you want to support me in any way or if you want to join the discord server all the information will be in the description below and if you want to suggest a movie for me to review all that you can drop that down in the comments anyways with all that being said, thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.